Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how miscommunication can take place through improper use of jargon and colloquialisms. Not so long ago I had a visitor from my parent company in South Africa and we were sitting in our meeting room. And our dear cleaning lady, who happened to be Chinese, came in and offered to bring us drinks. What would you like? she asked us. Well, it so happened that we both wanted Coke, but my colleague, being on diet, preferred to have Coke light, which in our vernacular we call thin Coke because it makes us thin. I wanted normal Coke, the sugared variety, which, by inference, would be called fat Coke. So we ordered one thin Coke and one fat Coke. Our Chinese tea lady looked a little bit perplexed, but off she went, and she returned a short while later with a tray bearing two glasses, one with fat Coke and the other with thin Coke. We had a good laugh about this, and it was a little bit embarrassing for her. But the message behind all this is that there are hazards behind miscommunication, especially when we use our own jargon, our own colloquialisms, and our own cliches. Fortunately, in this case, the damage was virtually nothing, but it could be a lot more serious in the wider world. Perhaps it could lead to an injury or serious loss of money. So think about it. The next time you're interacting with another culture, try not to use your own jargon. If you want to know more about the finer points of connecting across cultures, have a look at our website, asianways.sg, and take a look at the programs that we have on offer. And I hope to see you on one of those one of these days. Bye for now.